it's over, and the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship over Philadelphia without Kareem Abdul. Bobby Jones is going to put the ball on the flag. And the pass. the countdown. Four, three, two, one. The Lakers are the world champions. I don't look at the championship as being something that Philadelphia lost. You know, uh, Philadelphia didn't have the championship in the first place. You can't lose something unless you have it. It just didn't happen, and the decision was made, you know, we need one guy who's going to be there for 38, 40 minutes a night. And we went and got the hard hat uh, to do it. They would acquire the NBA's premier blue-collar worker, center Moses Malone, the relentless force who had single-handedly carried the mediocre Houston Rockets to the finals two years before. When we made that trade, you could just see the change in the whole team. They understood. They knew this is the man. And he was on a mission, and he, came, he had come to Philadelphia to get a ring. Moses would make his presence felt immediately. We had already uh, established ourselves as a premier team, and one of the things we were really looking for was a title, and, and everyone felt in our hearts once we got Moses, we could reach that goal. From the outset, it was apparent that the 1983 Sixers had found a killer instinct. With Moses leading them, they would go for the jugular in every contest. Philadelphia on the break. You know, when our team was healthy, nobody can beat us. Wes Richardson. Worthy against Malone. Pass is deflected. Going to be stolen, I think, by the doctor. Yes, he's got it. He carry it counts. We rock the baby. As the Sixers stormed to the division title, Philly fans were confident that this would finally be their year. Little Mo, Big Mo, the doctor, Andrew Tony, and Ivoroni. No baloney. Sixers all the way. But no one was more confident than Moses, who issued a bold guarantee that Philly would not lose a game in the postseason. And in the first round against the Knicks, he would back it up. Oh, brother! Not <laughs> much you can say about that. Ooh. Milwaukee would be the next to fall victim to the possessed Sixers. Wow, good move and block from behind. Back to Jay. Though Philly would eventually drop one contest, they continued to gain momentum and admirers. This is the best team that I've seen in 10 years. I can't see any team touching the Sixers. I really can't. The defending champion Lakers were ready to prove Nelson wrong, as their fans called for the Sixers' customary finals swoop. But as the series began in Philadelphia, Sixer fans were sure that this year would be different. Philly would reward their faith by trampling L.A. in the first two games. We want someone to remember this team. Kareem and the Lakers looked to regroup in L.A., but as he had all year long, Moses refused to allow the Sixers to let up. Philly's season-long mission 
was almost at an end, and Moses was not to be denied. Malone going in, the basket counts, and he is not to be stopped, and he is determined. Fittingly, it would be the doctor who would seal their triumph. They steal the ball. There it goes. Cheeks on his way to the world championship. The Moses slammed up. I look at the guys who I played with and the trials that we went through and um, a lot of the testing of the character you know, made, made me a better person, made us all better people because we really believed uh, in ourselves and, you know, there was a chemistry there and a spiritual harmony that just, uh, you know, made that the best team that I ever played on or was ever associated with and, um, you know, that's special. One thing about this team that they should be remembered for is they've been knocked down a lot. They've been criticized in every way, every shape, every form possible. But they had the ability every year to come back and just keep on doing it. And keep on doing it. And darn it, they climbed the mountain.